Well guys, the SD3 8 inch prototype showed up, the first ones. You can see they have the same inverted rubber surround as the SD3 10 and 12. Everything back here looks really familiar from the SD2. Same vented basket, motor is identical on the outside. Internally though, this motor is going to add a magnet ID shorting ring, which you also find in the SD3 10s and 12s. So we're going to go ahead and play this, play this guy here. First I'm going to take it up to a really linear range of excursion, and then I'm going to increase the volume even further. That's sort of an average amount of stroke. We'll turn up to about the linear limit. That was about the limit of the linear X max of the motor, which is about 14 and a half millimeters one way by 70% BL. Now, granted, the driver has more stroke than that in it, so we're going to take it up to maximum level of stroke now. the maximum level. You heard a little bit of mechanical noise there. But you can see there's a big buffer in between linear and maximum on this driver. So it's going to be pretty hard to damage this thing. I'm pretty satisfied with it. The rubber surround is nice and compliant and it has a lower FS than the current SD2 model. It sounds a little bit larger, a little bit more linearity, a little bit lower distortion in addition to the shorting ring of course. And then you gain the benefit of reducing front mount depth by an inch. So here it is. I'm almost done. I'm going to do one more series of prototypes with a slightly softer surround. See how they turn out. But hopefully we'll be starting production soon.